It's often said you eat with your eyes first, but would you still be hungry if the cook that prepared your meal wasn't being sanitary? That's where Tony Didi and his team come into play. He's the Adams County Health Department's chief environmental sanitarian. When we're writing our inspection report, uh, again, we've got 45 items that we look at. Roughly 13 of them are considered critical violations, and we will focus our inspection on those items first. Those are our priority items that we look at. But just because a restaurant looks clean doesn't mean it's safe. One way you can be sure where your eating meets health requirements is by looking at its inspection report. For example, critical violations might include things like um, safe food sources, you know, um, you know, are they getting their food from an approved source, uh, food temperatures, cross-contamination, um, hygiene, good hand washing, good handling of food, um, illness, insects and rodents in the facility, sewage backups, those sort of things. The Adams County Health Department now puts those reports on its website. We were getting a lot of demand or a lot of requests from the public to know what was going on in our local restaurants. Uh, they were curious on, on how they were doing on the inspections and rather than filling out a Freedom of Information Act request, we decided it'd be uh, more easily available to uh, go to our website and allow them to go right to the source. I mean, we have a lot of regular customers that come in here all the time and even new customers that are, you know, coming in and I want them to know that the kitchen is clean and that our employees are clean and that their food is being prepared in the way that it should be. You can access the reports by going to the health department's website, clicking inspection reports and typing in the name of the restaurant. The report that shows up on your screen is the same document the inspector used during his visit, but make sure to read the print carefully. There's been some confusion because we actually highlight our topic areas, our critical violations in red. Doesn't mean that they did bad, that's just trying to draw the customer's eye and the inspector's eye to what the critical violations are. Unless you see a you know, a number of violations marked in front of that box. It's not a violation. The reports also show comments or suggestions written by the inspector. They like it when we teach them how to do things better. They like it when we say, you know, this is not a good thing and give an explanation why it's not a good thing. And sometimes there could be isolated incidents that, you know, end up occurring, you know, during that time. So I think as the consumer, when they're looking online, um, they should look and see if there was a follow-up report, you know, with that, if something was corrected that they may have found. If they fixed it, customers can see that, hey, yeah, they may have had a problem one day, um, but they did take care of it. The department is required to keep reports on restaurants for up to five years. The web page housing the online reports was launched in July, but it only has reports from 2012. That's when the department went digital. Now another tool implemented by the health department is this QR code. All you have to do is scan it with your smartphone and it takes you directly to the health department's website where you can look up reports. But good luck finding it. Restaurants aren't required to publicly display them. But that shouldn't stop you from checking out the places where you're eating and deciding if it's operating up to your standards. Putting these inspections online gives a customer that opportunity to make that decision for themselves. Because after all, you are where you eat. Kristen Aguirre, KHQA News, Quincy.